Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you want to contribute during a Teams meeting without interrupting, you can raise your hand virtually. Click the Raise Your Hand button in the Meeting Controls toolbar. All meeting participants will be able to see that you have raised your hand. A small number icon appears over the Show Participants button in the Meeting Controls toolbar that indicates the number of people with their hand raised. If you want to lower your hand, just click the Lower Your Hand button in the Meeting Controls toolbar. To see a list of participants, click the Show Participants button in the Meeting Controls toolbar. In the Participants pane, anyone who has raised their hand will appear with a raised hand icon next to their name. To lower someone's hand, hover over their name, click the More Options ellipsis, and select the Lower Hand command from the menu. Meeting organizers and presenters can also spotlight individuals in a meeting, locking their video feed as the main video for all meeting participants to see, regardless of who else might be speaking. To spotlight a meeting attendee, click the More Options ellipsis next to their name in the Participants pane and select Spotlight from the menu. To remove the spotlight, click the More Options ellipsis again and select Stop Spotlighting from the menu. You can also mute participants by clicking the More Options ellipsis next to their name and selecting the Mute Participant link from the menu. If you have more than two participants and you want to mute all participants, you can then click the Mute All link that then appears at the top of the participants pane. Note that you cannot unmute a person once you have muted them. They will have to unmute themselves using their audio controls in their Meeting Controls toolbar. If having a meeting in a formal situation in Teams like a classroom, where you don't want meeting attendees to unmute without your permission by first signaling for your attention by raising their hand, you can do that if you are the meeting organizer. Note this only applies to meeting attendees, not meeting participants. People who cannot present are simply meeting attendees. To configure who can present for a meeting, open the meeting's options by either clicking the meeting options link within the meeting's invitation, or by clicking the More Actions ellipsis at the top of the participants pane within the meeting, and then selecting the Manage Permissions command. The meeting's options then appear in a web page in your default web browser. To change who can present, select your desired choice from the Who Can Present dropdown. To prevent attendees from unmuting themselves without first raising their hand and being granted that permission by the organizer, click to change the Allow Attendees to Unmute toggle switch to No. Then click the Save button. Anyone who cannot present is an attendee to the meeting. Alternatively, you can change a meeting participant to an attendee within the participant's pane by hovering over their name, clicking the More Options ellipsis that appears, and then selecting the Make an Attendee command. Then read the information about the effects of this change in the dialog box that appears, and click the Change button to confirm it. Conversely, if needed, you can also change an attendee to a presenter in the participants pane by hovering over their name, clicking the More Options ellipsis, and then selecting the Make a Presenter command in the menu. Then read the information about the effects of this change in the dialog box that appears and click the Change button to confirm it. To then prevent all attendees from unmuting without your permission if you didn't set that option as the default in the Meeting Options window, Click the More Actions ellipsis at the top of the Participants pane and select the Don't Allow Attendees to Unmute command. Then read the message in the confirmation dialog box that appears and click the Don't Allow button. At that point, attendees cannot unmute without first raising their hand. After they have raised their hand, you can then hover over their name, click the More Options ellipsis, and select the Allow to Unmute command. At that point, the specified attendee can unmute themselves. This also automatically lowers their raised hand. If you later decide you want to allow attendees to unmute, click the More Actions ellipsis at the top of the participants pane and select the Allow Attendees to Unmute command. Then read the message in the confirmation dialog box that appears and click the Allow button. At that point, attendees can then unmute themselves without raising their hand. If you are the meeting organizer, you can also remove individual participants. To remove someone, hover over their name in the participants pane, click the More Options ellipsis, 
and select the Remove from Meeting command from the menu. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.